Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back on this wonderfully warm Wednesday. Taking a look outside on our Coronado Sky Cam, facing off to Moorhead. Lunchtime traffic moving along just fine. We've got blue skies and a few fair weather cumulus clouds. Right now in Fargo, 77 degrees feels like 79. That wind out of the west southwest at 10 miles per hour, gusting around 17 and currently 77 in Moorhead. Grand Fork, 77 as well. Wind is out of the southwest. A few more clouds up in the northern valley. Uh, and gusting to around 21 miles per hour. Temperatures across the region have widely warmed up into the 70s. Still at 69 in Baudette, but don't worry, be warming up into the 70s here soon. 73 in Detroit Lake, 71 in Thief River Falls and Bemidji, 76 in Jamestown, 77 out in Oaks. Satellite and radar. Not a thing to show. It's a beautiful day across the entire valley. Temperatures through the afternoon in Fargo will be warming up into the mid 80s. Lots of abundant sunshine and not too much wind. Just a slight breeze out of the west with the sunset at 926. And in Grand Forks, temperatures just a pinch cooler to our north and east, warming up into the low to mid 80s with the sunset at 931. Here's a snapshot of your 4 p.m. temperatures. Again, most of us in the 80s, slightly cooler to the north and east, 78 in Roseau and Wadena, 76 out in Bemidji. And our temperature trend over the next couple of days if you're a fan of the heat, get ready for tomorrow and Friday because temperatures will be warming well above average both days. Our average today here in Fargo is 80, so we're fairly close to that today. And then we will drop for the weekend before kind of leveling out to near or slightly above normal through next week. So your hour by hour forecast. Honestly, a boring but in a good way day for your Wednesday. 10 p.m. temperatures still in the 60s and 70s, quiet overnight, just a few passing clouds. And by tomorrow morning, we're waking up to temperatures mostly in the 60s across the region. Then tomorrow, the heat is on. The wind will be switching out of the south. Still not too gusty, but it's going to pump in some warmer air and some moisture. So temperatures will be warming into the 80s and 90s. But with the humidity, we could have some areas with the heat index in the triple digits. With that heat and humidity, we're going to have a chance for some thunderstorms later in the evening. So this is starting at 8 p.m. These are going to be some late day storms tomorrow, late afternoon into the evening and swing right through the Southern Valley and into Lakes Country. So folks that are still cleaning up from the damage from Monday's storms, um, potentially might have a bit more. We're watching on the severity index of these storms, but they'll continue through the overnight Thursday and into Friday morning. Friday, another hot day. I'm going to lose my temperature data here. It doesn't quite quite go out far enough, but we're going to have another front move through Friday. This is 530, so into your afternoon and evening. A line of storms impacting the majority of the region with the potential for severe weather. So for your Thursday, potential hazards of one inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds in the dark green area, light green as general thunderstorms. And then Friday, our entire region highlighted currently in at level one, but I do think that will be increased. We'll be watching that carefully. And then for the weekend, temperatures cooling down before again, leveling out next week. When are we just gonna have some normal, nice, quiet weather consistently summer? The next couple hours. <laughs> oh, perfect, we'll go enjoy it now.